I wound the coil over a 5 8 inch plastic rod. I took care to unwind the wire without twisting and kept a fair amount of tension on it. When I was finished, the coil relaxes slightly, which proved useful as my magnets were 5 8 in diameter as well. The wire itself is 0.032 inch diameter copper wire from McMaster Car. Once I was done winding the coil, I slid it off and uh, stretched it out. I stretched out each section to uh, make it a little longer and to prevent the coils from touching each other. You need to be careful not to pull too hard or you will create coils that are too far apart which will prove problematic when the train is in the coil. I use standard neodymium magnets. These are 1 8 inch thick and 5 8 inches in diameter. I use two for the positive pole of the battery and two for the negative pole of the battery. In this case I have both south poles facing outward. Notice also that the magnets are slightly larger in diameter than the battery itself. This is important for when the train is in the coil. With the south poles of the magnets facing outward, the train will travel either direction down the coil as long as the negative pole of the battery is in the front. Here I have reversed the polarity of the magnets on each end of the battery. And now, when I place it in the coil, it will still travel in either direction down the coil, but now in front is the positive terminal of the battery instead of the negative terminal.